What is up YouTube and welcome to this Titans and Justice League video. So if you're new to the channel, a like and a subscribe is super, super appreciated. If you could drop a uh, little subscribe, click a bell button to never, ever miss a video here from Superhero Nexus. But we've had some really, really cool things drop in the last few hours. Well, the, the biggest one here is the reveal of the suit for Robin. So we've got Brenton Thwaites, who is going to be playing Robin in next year's Titan series. It's going to be on the DC streaming service that will be go along with the Young Justice Season 3. And, well, it's kind of weird here that they revealed him as Robin. So he will be playing Robin, but we're also going to possibly be getting him as Nightwing as well. So it looks like what I'm probably suspecting here is this will actually be him leading possibly into being Nightwing. So obviously, if you don't know, Dick Grayson actually was Robin and then he had the Teen Titans. And then later on, as he kind of outgrew his Robin sidekick moniker, he then became the hero Nightwing. So that that's pretty much what a lot of fans are wanting. Nightwing is a beyond popular character, kind of a huge fan favourite, to be honest, and leader of the Titans. Just really awesome that we're going to be getting this TV show, which is going to be a lot of fun, to be honest. We've got like Beast Boy, we've got Raven and things like that. Huge, huge characters from DC Universe, especially Teen Titans, the Titan kind of properties, respectively. So uh, it, I think the suit looks really, really good, you know. I think it looks really, really comic book accurate. It looks a lot like the New 52, to be honest, and it also reminds me a hell of a lot more of him, of Robin, in Arkham Asylum, in the, the, the Arkham City game, which was really, really awesome and was a really strong outfit. We've got his kind of bow staff thing as well. Now, the bow staff is an interesting thing because it is more of a actual Tim Drake weapon, so I'm not sure why he's actually got that, but it does look cool all the same, and it will be a nice kind of homage to different versions of all the different Robins as well. So you've got Dick Grayson with the type when then Tim Drake and then obviously you got you got Jason Todd and Damian who were all the Robins that Batman has had as well. Now then again his bow staff thing here could actually separate and turn into two kind of battle fighting sticks or however whatever they're called to be honest that Nightwing is as well. So maybe that could be the origin of that, that weapon, which would be pretty neat as well. And I think that this might be possibly Robin at the start forming the Teen Titans, like I said, at the start as well. So I think it's been really cool. It's on the DC streaming service. Not sure what it's going to be here in the K. Hopefully it does fall onto Netflix, just like with the D with Star Trek Discovery, we actually got that show on Netflix, even though on in America it was on the CBS All Access app. So it looks like for once the UK is actually getting a really good deal. I mean, things like Riverdale are on there as well. So yeah, it's a bit kind of a big thing that hopefully it gets on there. But we've also had something really, really cool as well. As Kevin Smith has actually revealed one of the biggest things to come out of the the kind of the cutting room floor, so to speak, for Justice League. And what is actually really cute is that we actually have him reveal that there was a different look for how Darkseid would possibly be involved in Justice League. And he says that Superman joins the fight and teams up with the League the Steppenwolf. However, at one point, Steppenwolf tries to tempt Superman into joining his army. Ready for this? This made me so fucking angry and we see Darkseid for the first time in Superman's vision and we see flashes of the nightmare footage that Batman had in Batman vs Superman. However, Superman snaps back out of it and delivers the final blow to Steppenwolf. Now, it's kind of weird that this, this was revealed by Kevin Smith who didn't really work on the production, but he is known to actually be good friends with Zack Snyder. So he probably, they probably work or... I would say Zack Snyder probably passed a few things to Kevin Smith, so he thought and like that, and that's why this was actually revealed, which I thought would be really, really cool, because we actually have Superman end up on Apocalypse in the Origin comic D2, so I think that that would have been really cool to see, to see these visions line up as well, especially with the nightmare scene, and it could reveal that this is kind of a manipulation of the characters by the Apocalypse forces and would explain why the nightmare scene actually happened. Now, it's not sure if this kind of scene was CGI filmed or if it literally got to the planning stage of cut 
and that was that, or if it was cut by Joss Whedon for time. However, it's a shame that it was never actually there. But that is it for this video. Please drop a like, please do subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.